Hey YouTube, TechWidget here, back with another video. So, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the XP boost in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, there are three different variants of the XP. There's the first one, which is regular, your regular XP, like 150 per chest, like 120 per ammo box, and like 150 per kill, uh, around that number. And then we have the regular XP boost, which is around 400 or 500 per kill, and 400 500 per chest and around 400 per ammo box and we have the extreme xp boost which gives you 2000 xp per kill 1500 xp per um chest and 1200 xp per ammo box and in today's video i'm going to be covering how you can get those three xp boost and much more on top of that before i get to that and release the juices i want you to do three things to subscribe and to like the video and to use code TechWidget in the fortnite item shop after you do those three three things comment down below i did it and i will make sure to like your comment and pin it if i can if you're the first one that commented i did it so anyways let's get into how to get this xp boost so let's let's start off with the basics guys you do not get much XP, but I the, you can. There's a thing called the Grotto Farm. You can do that, or you can play Team Rumble. Is you can very you can level up very very slow. But I just want you to know one thing: Epic Games can kind of control your level. This is how they do it. Let's say you're level 20, and then the average player should be around level 50. And they're going to give you probably the regular XP boost or the extreme one. So you get around level 50. The reason why they do this is so you they want to make sure that you're high enough level. But they don't want you to have max level to 100. Because if you have 100 and then you won't really care if you play Fortnite or not. Because you don't really it doesn't really matter. You have the skins. You're not really wasting your rebucks or anything. So it doesn't really matter if you play or not. So this is why they give you the XP boost or they take it away in some cases. So if you're at like level 60, they're of course going to take it away at this point in time. They do not want you to be at level 100. If you buy it, they so they're kind of forcing you to buy it. And then most people are not going to buy it. So that's when they give them the XP boost when they need to. And this is a way that I found out works. If you have your metal punch card, you do not fill it in all the way. You leave one or two uh spots in the punch card open so let's say you're playing you're grinding all day and then you have like one or two left just stop playing fortnite for that day and um make sure to get on tomorrow and then once you get on tomorrow you're gonna have the xp boost because if you don't fill out your punch card one day the next day you will have the xp boost it will not be the extreme xp boost but it will be the regular xp boost so before it was just random on weekends last season on season one chapter two but this season they changed it up a little bit so if you don't fill out your punch card all the way on one day the next day you're gonna have the xp boost so to uh reclaim the xp quote unquote that you lost with the punch card so let's talk about how to get the extreme xp boost now so the extreme xp boost I'm sorry to say you can't really control so that's conserved for the lower levels so if you're level two they're gonna give you a really like high xp boost like the 2000 1500 1200 they want you to get to level 50 they want you to level up a lot so then you start playing the game more you get more comfortable with the game you might even spend some money on the game that's their end goal so the the end of the story is on the extreme xp boost you can't really control it but if you're a lower level your epic games will definitely uh try to help you out by giving you the extreme xp boost i have personally not had this happen to me i've gotten the regular xp boost but um i have not gotten the extreme one i think it was one time in my past fortnite career but besides that i have not gotten it at all so it is kind of rare you could say but i do play fortnite a lot so if you don't play Fortnite a lot, this is perfect for you. That's why Epic Games tries to make these type of uh, boosts, XP boosts, so call it. 
So that is how you get XP boost in Fortnite Battle Royale. And make sure if this helped you out to like, subscribe, and use code TechWinger for the item shop.